Hey guys, Trent at Black Horse Ranch here again, and uh, we got our project here for uh, the de-icer for the tank, the uh, cattle tank. So, if you look at the the trough, we uh, we just broke that ice about two hours ago, and it's already reforming on there. So, uh, I've had this for a while. Um, We've got two of these troughs, but this is an idea that I've been working on. Um, I saw online uh, there was a, a kit you could buy that had a bilge pump, and it would basically keep the water circulating um, and keeps it from freezing just uh, from movement. And uh, they use like, I don't know, a sixth of the power that uh, a tank heater would use. So we're going to give that a try now. I've got a couple potential problems with this. Um, my plan, I've got this other tank here and uh, we're gonna tap into the drain here. One of the main reasons I'm tapping into the drain to begin with is uh, to route the wires for my bilge pumps. So I've got 12 volt bilge pumps. Um, that I've wired extensions onto, and then I have these connectors, um, everything's waterproof, but these will sit down in the tank, and uh, they'll basically just keep the water circulating, um, but my cows are notorious for chewing wires, um, so I can't have the wires coming out the top of the tank, so I'm going to route them through the pipe, and then I'll I'll bring them up through the fence here, and then I've got the electrical uh, mounted on the back of that post there behind the hydrant, and uh, that's where the pumps will plug in at. So that's kind of what I'm going to try to do. Um, we'll see if it works, and uh, who knows? Might be a good solution. Might might be one of those things that I regret trying. So. Well, uh, let's get to work. Well, I had a, a thought and I talked to my wife and uh, she kind of threw out some ideas there with this trough thing. So I'm going to change how I'm going to do this, uh, the, the pump uh, for the tank de-icing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to make some mounts for the pump that hook over the edge. That way the pump will be stationary um, and we can run the wires behind that. All right, guys, so we're in here uh, looking at how to do this uh, bilge pump to keep the, the top trough water from freezing. The idea is that I'll have the sheet metal hook over the edge of the trough, and then it'll come down inside, and then there'll be a little platform for the bilge pump to sit on. Uh, that way it won't sit on the bottom of the tank Hopefully that'll keep it from getting too many debris sucked in. Um, there's always a lot of hay and grass and stuff floating around in the trough when the cows drink. Um, and then that'll also hide the wire. The wire for the pump will go out behind the sheet metal and over the edge of the tank and then out. I'm not sure how powerful the pump is. I haven't used it yet, but I don't want the pump falling over and uh, swirling around inside the tank. I want it to be stationary so we can get a good um, full tank movement. I'm going to try maybe having the pump four inches off the bottom. So we got a two foot deep trough here. So I'll make the first bend at 20 inches. Uh, I might even go an inch and a half. That'll give space for the wire to come up through. And then maybe I'll make some little tabs uh, to bend down to hold the metal up off the trough lip and then that way the wire has space to go underneath the metal and then come out maybe three and a half inches I don't know, let's go four and a half inches so here's the bilge pump um, you can see there's three holes in the bottom of it um, but the bilge pump's only about three inches wide. I'm going to go ahead and cut the sheet metal six inches wide.
All right, so I did bend it. Uh, it came out pretty good. I don't have a brake, but I basically um, took a piece of angle on it that I had, and uh, I clamped it to a board like that. And basically, it was like this. I just clamped it in there like that, and then I was able to just hand bend uh, the sheets. And since it doesn't have to be that precise, uh, it worked out. And then on the top here, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut um, right on the corners, and then I can take this piece right here and bend it down, and then that'll hold this up off the lip of the tank a little bit, with enough room for the wires to come up out of the tank and out. Okay, so this is kind of the finished product. So we've got the top that hooks over the, the trough and then uh, up underneath there. So the wire will come up here and it'll have room because of these little tabs that I bent. I'll have room to go over the lip of the trough without getting smashed and then come out the back. And then we've got the bent L at the bottom. These screws sticking out here will kind of hold the plate off the the side of the trough and then there's the base of the pump which basically snaps in and then the output will be parallel to the side of the trough so it'll it'll follow the outside of the trough I've got these uh, I had to extend the wires and I use these uh, waterproof um, they're for well well wire uh, but they're waterproof heat shrink basically so soldered the wires up and then put the water, waterproof heat shrink. But I think that wire will end up outside the tank anyway. It reaches up to the top. Um, so I think that's it. I'm going to go try this one out. We've only got one trough out there now. And so um, we'll try this one out and, and see what happens. Okay, so here we are out at the trough. Uh, Losing a bit of our light, but we'll try to get this done here before the sun goes down. Um, so, I've got here, um, this is a 24 volt or 12 volt power supply. It's got two leads on it, um, it's waterproof. Uh, so, basically, this is the power for the pumps. Um, I've also got this thing called a thermo cube. Um, and it's basically a dual outlet and it just plugs into a regular outlet and the temperature gets down to 35 degrees this allows power to flow and then it stays flowing until the temperature comes up above 35 so as long as the water uh, has a potential of freezing uh, this should run uh, one problem I have though is I've got a quad a quad receptacle box here and that won't fit because I have an outlet on both sides of the quad so um, it's already below 35 now so I'm gonna go ahead and just hook this up directly to the the power source and I'll have to figure out a way to either modify this thermal cube or figure something else out with a, a short pigtail or something um, I did look up the thermal cube and I didn't see any that aren't a dual outlet if it was a single outlet um, there are other brands, but I just haven't researched it, so it's possible I could I could uh, get something else. But so I'm gonna go ahead and mount this to the. I've got a wood pole here supporting the water and the power. I'm gonna mount this uh, power supply to that, uh, and then we'll get our pump situated and um, get it mounted. <laughs> 